Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing this gigantic Elgato green screen and doing a quick overview of it. So this box is pretty gigantic. I'm just going to measure it now. Looking at 175 centimeters just for this little box. And uh, basically we're just going to open it up. Pretty much had to bring this down to my kitchen table just so that I can you know, have enough space to actually open this properly. Pretty hefty. So it has these uh, interesting cords. Let me get this out of the way. So once the corner supports have been removed, I've basically got this big box. So I basically flip this around, and then we've got the actual green screen itself. It looks like it's like really well packaged, and we've got our instruction manual here, which is nice. Seems like a pretty basic setup. And, uh, you know, I've purchased this at £150 from Amazon. I'll leave a link to this in the description. So I'm expecting something high quality. I think instead of being trying to work this off, I'm going to just cut this off here. I think it's safest if I set this up on the floor and we'll see how this looks. So I don't have like a huge amount of space so I'm going to set up in front of here and try to show how this works. So it's saying here basically we need to rotate the feet out and then basically unlatch the box and then pull it up. So let's see how easy it is. So these legs look like they add a lot of stability. And then we've got, I've got these latches here. And then this case comes up like that. And we have a little handle here. And basically I'm just gonna pull it up. So this is very impressive. I can, yeah, I could definitely fit my whole body in there. <laughs> The effective amount of kind of green screen height we've got is 187 centimeters tall and in terms of width we are looking at just under 150 centimeters wide. Let's see how easy it is to, to put it back. That is very cool. That just allows you to push it and pull it down. I'm going to flip this around so I can show you again. I've just turned this around so it's backwards. I'm going to open it from the back and show you how it works. It's actually very light, I can do it with one finger. And it's got this kind of cool scissor array where it just locks into place just like that. All I have to do is just pull it all the way up. That is very good because it means that we can put this away really easily. And then to put it back down again, I just push it down a little bit. And that tension is just allowing us to set any height that we want. And it just works very easily. And uh, all I have to do is just put it back like that and then put the legs back in and it's you know a pretty compact piece of equipment. So basically this is the office setup that I'm trying to get the green screen working in and I'm using my MacBook's webcam as my main webcam at the moment. I'll be getting a better one in the future. So one of the reasons that we are actually getting a green screen is because you can kind of see this huge mess here. This is my office that I share with my wife and it's a bit of a working space. I've got loads of stuff here like I'm working on like my computers here and all repair stuff, it's all buttoned into these drawers and you know, I don't wanna be able to tidy up every single time I want to be able to record. So that's why I have this green screen set up here. So I'm just gonna demonstrate how I'm actually gonna use this going forward. Uh, basically, we, we have it here, I can just put it on the ground and then all I have to do is just lift, lift this up. And that goes all the way up like that and I have a fully functional green screen and it's all there. Yeah, so basically I'm sharing this office with my wife and basically it means that we have a kind of messy space. So I want this green screen here so that I could do some recording. Basically, I'm just gonna show you, I'm using OBS at the moment and I'm just going to show you how to chroma key this entire green space out. So basically I'm using OBS at the moment and I've got my green screen set up beside me and what I wanna be able to do is kind of remove the background of this webcam. So if you haven't installed OBS already, I've got a tutorial in the description. If you just follow that link, then I'll show you how to set up the entire scene. But basically what I'm doing is that I have 
a video capture device, which is the MacBook's webcam, and uh, I can actually move this around. And what I wanna be able to do is to kind of overlay this onto other footage. So I can put myself in the corner like this, and basically what I can do is control click or right click on the filters section here, and then I can add a chroma key. So I can click plus here and click chroma key, and then I'm gonna be able to key out the green color. So I'm gonna turn my chroma key on, which I've already set up before, and basically the background has been removed from the entire back, it's now turned gray. So if I close this now, you can see that there's this kind of black space behind me. If I go back to video capture device and go to filters, I can tweak a little bit of the settings. The main one here is called similarity, and that will tweak the sensitivity of the green chroma key. So you can just tweak this depending on your lighting setup. Basically, you don't want any green, but you don't want to be too sensitive too, because if you have uh, bad lighting or reflections off your hair that are green, then that's going to key that out too. So just uh, kind of be careful with that. And of course, um, if your green screen is not close enough to you, or you know, you've got a chair with a back, and you can move your green screen closer, or basically you want to crop out the edges here. So what you can do is to control click on video capture device, then click on transform and edit transform. And then what we want to do is basically crop the sides. So uh, you want to start with the left hand side and crop a little bit of uh, this part here. And so I'm going to take out 100 pixels from there. And from the right, we'll take out 350. Yeah, 350. That gives me this little square that sits in the corner here. And I can select my webcam and I can put this here. I can make myself bigger, smaller, etc. Yeah, so I can put myself in the corner and then I can overlay whatever footage I want in the background here. Let's say, for example, I want to capture a video source. So I'm going to click media source here and then we're going to find a local file. So I'm going to find one that I made earlier. I'm going to press open here and press OK. And basically, that is going to overlay over the screen. I want to make sure that this one is not above my webcam. So I'm going to set the order and move down and move down again. And so now my face is in the corner of the screen. And, uh, you know, I have I have this box which I can't get out of. But basically, my head is now in the corner and I don't have to worry about stuff in the background interfering with this. And then I can put my face a bit bigger or smaller. It depends on what exactly you're trying to achieve in the video. So that is a basic setup of how to use this green screen. It's quite impressive how it looks. It looks quite professional. It means that we, you know, you can cut out the entire background. And, you know, OBS recording is just one of the many uses of this. You could use this green screen in Zoom or Skype and that will just cut down the background. It'll look much better than the AI view of the background removal and uh, look much more professional. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.